said a ship uh, that uh, can uh, cruise at 60 uh, 65 kilometers uh, per hour in a steel in a steel water right set a uh, coast uh, southwest it is uh, driven off by uh, a current flowing uh, west 20 uh, 21 degrees north right uh, at a rate of a uh, 15 of uh, rate of 16 meters uh, okay kilometers per hour right so now our uh, question they said calculate the velocity okay the resultant velocity uh, in magnitude and uh, direction right i'm going to show you uh, how to calculate uh, this uh, resultant velocity and also if you were asked to calculate uh, the relative uh, velocity uh, how to calculate the relative velocity but in this case now we are concentrating on what on a, a ship this ship uh, it can all uh, can cruise at 65 uh, kilometers per hour uh, in a steel water so if uh, this uh, water is uh, not moving or if this uh, steel water is stationary right so it's set uh, to, uh, it's set coast to not uh, a, a southwest right so okay let's write uh, the cartesian plane here yeah. so we have a cartesian plane we have east east uh, north uh, west uh, then uh, we have south right so if uh, this um this ship has uh, to coast uh to cruise uh 65 uh, southwest so this one it will be our force here okay let's see this one will be 65 65 kilometers per hour southwest right uh, so if it's 65 then we are not given uh, the angle right that means here is uh, 45 is in the middle between uh, uh, south and west west south right so then uh, um, the other they said the um, uh, the current ne? Uh, the current Okay, it is driven off a uh, cost by a current flowing uh, 21 uh, degrees, 21 degrees uh, northwest, right? So here is 21, this one is 21 degrees northwest, right? So then uh, it's uh, moving at 16 kilometers per hour, right? So yeah if we have to calculate uh, the resultant velocity of uh, these um uh, the, so the, the resultant velocity of uh, the ship that means we uh, have to calculate the velocity that will uh, replace this velocity right and uh, this one and still has uh, the same effect right so then they say uh, if we, we are calculating a resultant velocity a resultant velocity if we combine these uh, two of forces 21 uh, these two uh, angles né? if we combine 21 and uh, 45 it will give us the whole angle here it will be 66 degrees right so then uh, if you are calculating a resultant velocity uh yeah this is the difference between the res the, velo the relative velocity and a uh, resultant velocity right so uh if we are calculating a resultant uh, if we are calculating a resultant velocity like um a resultant velocity will be equals to uh we're going to use a cosine rule right so if you are using a cosine rule uh, or a okay we can use a cosine rule which is going to be the square root of uh, a squared plus b squared uh, minus 2 a b cos uh, cos c okay so if we're calculating a resultant velocity right a resultant velocity it will be a 66 minus uh if you're uh, in a straight line is uh 90 uh, dec or 180 degrees right so therefore our angle which is a c will be equals to um 
okay okay our angle here which is c will be equals to uh, 180 minus 66 then we will give us uh, 180 minus 66 will give will give us 140 degrees right so therefore you can uh, substitute here the side a with is 65 squared plus b is 16 squared minus c is 2 multiplied by uh, 65 times uh, 16 uh, times a uh, cos 114 degrees right then we have our uh, initial values okay our resultant velocity will be velocity will be 72 point uh, nine eight six uh, kilometers per hour right so this is our resultant velocity right of uh, of solving this equation so you can solve by resolving uh, these forces right so if you are solving by resolving forces then here if you are resolving 16 so 16 will be going up which is 16 sine uh, 21 and then if uh, we have vertical component again it will be 16 uh, cos 21 right and then on the other side we can have a 65 uh, sine sine 25 sine 45 yeah which is going uh, down and then we're going to have this one's going uh, to west which is uh, 65 cos cos 45 okay so these as uh, uh, then uh, here you have to calculate your uh, your if you have to calculate your values your you have to calculate your vertical component and uh, the and horizontal component your vertical component there uh, say your vertical component it will be uh, 16 uh, sine sine 21 minus uh, this one is going down is negative minus 65 uh, sine 45 right and then we get our answer here then our answer it will be 16 sine 21 minus 65 sine 45 okay so our vertical component it would be negative 39.4 okay or indicate that our, our vertical component is a 39.4 five four uh, kilometers kilometers per hour to south right because uh, the direction of south or which is the downward uh, direction is negative right and then uh, to find uh, the horizontal component the horizontal co so this one was a vertical component right? which is v and then the horizontal component uh, h will be equals to uh, these are two they are going to the to west which is that negative direction which is negative 16 uh, cos 21 minus uh, 65 cos uh, 45 or else you can just add these uh, two but you will know that they are going straight to the um they're going straight to west right that's uh, a minus 60.8 uh, uh, nine, nine two kilometers per hour directly to west right because of uh, this negative is going to west and then uh if you are fine looking for the um the resultant velocity then for the resultant velocity it will be the square root of uh, the horizontal component uh, 
or the horizontal component and the vertical component all squared uh, pl plus uh, 16 point eight eight nine nine two all squared then the answer it will be seventy two point nine eight six uh, kilo meters per hour right so this is our our resultant velocity ne? so if you are calculating the resultant velocity this it will be your resultant velocity so remember if you are calculating a resultant velocity so this is the same as um, a relative velocity the only difference between uh, these uh, two the only difference between the two is that uh, on a relative on a uh, resultant velocity we subtract 180 with our angle right but if we are going to if we were calculating the relative the relative velocity of the ship related to the uh, the uh, related to uh, the direction or to the current ne? to the speed of the current so if we're calculating the uh, resultant okay the relative velocity of the ship related to body number b which will be the, our current therefore uh, here on our cosine rule we are going to use exactly the 66 uh, uh, as it is right because here if we were calculating the say our relative velocity relative velocity okay let's say the relative velocity between uh, body A which is our ship and uh, body B right body B which is our uh, body B which is our uh, current but uh, here we're going to use the very same formula but the only difference it will be on the angles right so let's not confuse uh, these uh, two because uh, the other guys, uh, Mr. Williams, uh, was confusing these two. And it was correct that, but if uh, you are calculating resultant velocity, we subtract. But a uh, relative velocity, we don't subtract. We take the angle as uh, it is. And then you will see there will be a difference between uh, these uh, two. Then it will be 65. Uh, 16 then a cos 66 so the relative velocity here will be equals to 60.29 right so this it be your relative velocity not your resultant this if you're calculating a relative velocity if they say calculate the relative the relative velocity of uh, the of the ship with uh, the or body A or body B, it will be 66. Uh, the, your angle will use 66 as it is. But if you're calculating the resultant velocity, we're going to use uh, uh, 180 minus 66, then you're going to have 114. So, this is uh, the reason why we don't use, uh, uh, this is the reason why we use uh, the angle as it is in a relative velocity we are just calculating the relationship between these two like if you are in this um they said uh the our ship it was a car a and b then this uh velocity of uh okay let's say that this uh uh this uh of, and the okay let's say the the current it was our car b right so if you are sitting on a car a and you are looking at car b you will see car b or you will be moving at uh, your relative velocity which is 60 so the relationship between the two but if we are like calculating the resultant velocity we are calculating the velocity that will replace these two on the ship, right? And then still, if we wanted to sail uh, directly or want to cruise directly southwest uh, with this uh, 
um, with uh, this currently then you have to uh, be going at a relative at a, res re at a resultant velocity of 72.986 kilometers per hour so uh, let's calculate now the direction right so the direction uh, the, uh, the direction let's calculate the direction this sign so if we are uh, using uh, these if we are using uh, this uh, this method then uh, the direction of uh, curve tan theta equals to our horizontal our vertical component over our horizontal component right so then uh, our angle it will be uh, the inverse of tan into uh, our velocity our uh, okay this one's our vertical component is steady 9.454 over our velocity okay this one is our horizontal component which is 60.899 then our angle it will give our um, angle here it will be 30 two point uh, nine uh, three uh, okay nine three eight right decrease and then uh, you will see that uh, this angle is moving as no this angle is uh, from a uh, south okay it's from west of a uh, south right so it's a uh, daily two degrees and then four is going to be in this uh, direction so yeah it will be 32 degrees uh, to south to west west of south and then uh, if we are using the other one here yeah, this uh, this method if we are using uh, this method we're going to have a uh, sign uh, theta over over 65 will be equals to uh, sine uh, 114 over uh, our resultant is 72.986 then our angle will be equals to so our angle here it will be 54 point four four seven right so this angle now is uh, different with the other one right so uh, this is because of uh, 60 60 uh, this one is 64.64.447 is above uh, this side right so we're going to subtract it with our angle which is 21 and if you say minus 21 is going to give us uh, our angle which is 30 uh, 3.447 right so this is our angle will be going west of uh, west of south right so if uh, we subtract with this negative 21 here yeah, if this negative 20 okay 21 then our angle will be in direct with will be south south of uh south of west but if we were going to use that 50 for the four it was going to be west of north the direction right so uh, here the angles are uh, is 33 but uh, this side is a uh, 32 uh, it's supposed to be 33 but because of uh, the uh, the conversion of uh, those answer when we are rounding off uh, this answer that's why it doesn't give us exactly 30 30 it give us 32.938 so this is uh, the difference between uh, the the difference between uh, the resultant velocity and the other uh, relative velocity